gold. We're not going to be able to top that banter, so... You know, just... <laughs> I do want to know what this thing is. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we made a reverb called The Beholder a long time ago, mm -hmm. and it was a belt and brick with a fuzz face after it, which oh, wow. uh, sounded like shit, um, but in a way that you, know, you kind of keep coming back to. Okay. Um, and so I wanted to try doing like a DSP. <laughs> I'll be like, this is such, there's a joke there, you know. Uh, I wanted to do like there literally there's this YouTube comment who was like, buy this if you really want people to hate your music, you know. Huh. I was like, yeah, it's kind of fair, but it's kind of a, that's good <laughs> marketing. Yeah, the, the yeah. quotes on the PCB. It's better. Uh, than that dude's been immortalized. About it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I was just like, you know, I wanted to take that concept further. I really like Dirty Reverb and. Uh, this is like the problem with this is that there's like one or two sweet spots um, and you heard one and a half of them uh, it's kind of hard to wrangle but uh, if I could figure out how to get this thing yeah it's potential it's, it's got potential and then these two together are super fun. oh yeah it's a fun combo this thing so the, the ADG one is made by uh, by this dude Hawker down in Asheville um, and he used to work uh, at, at Moog uh, doing, designing pedals and He's like the world expert in bucket brigade ships. Um, like he knows so much about all the little details of, of those. And like, he also knows a lot about synthesizers. And so like this thing is all analog. Like even the switching logic is all analog. There's like a really, really nice LFO, lots of cool features in there and it just sounds beautiful. So love to use that one. Um, yeah, and then uh, Halberd is, is a drive that we make. I'm borrowing this from Charlie. Um, <laughs> It's, uh, it's nice if you just want to do a little bit of like sound gooder izing, uh, but if you crank it up, it can do like kind of more blown out tweety stuff or like really like clangy, riffy, uh, you know, like 90s noise rock type stuff. Got a little bit of both in there. I have to say, I've never, I don't want to be mean, but I've <laughs> never been like super fond of this, just the sound of this amp. It's good for like referencing and mm -hmm. for testing stuff, but I, I think it was because of that that was making it sound, I, I think, really, really great. Yeah, you know, the, like that amp has a little bit too much low end, but I think, I feel that way about most amps, you know? Like mm -hmm. there's just this like bass that is hard to tame. And so mm -hmm. cutting a little bit up front, which the Halberd does super well, cause there's like a pre-game bass cut, makes a big difference in just like giving you some air. Cause like we are adding a ton of low end, especially the Beholder is like, you know, there's so much just like, just grossness mm -hmm. sitting between like 100 Hertz to 300 Hertz. Uh, so like preempting that a little bit kind of helps it feel balanced, but yeah, I mean, Habit and CXM together, like, you know, again, I just borrowed these from Charlie, but like, I've been using that combination all the time at home now. Uh, you know, like the Habit basically replicates a workflow that I was using with like a bunch of old like PDS 2020 delays. Oh, wow. Um, because those things have the ability to set a super long buffer, play a loop into it, and then it decays for a long time. Um, but being able to do polyrhythms with two of them is, is really hard to do and also being able to change the buffer length without changing the delay time and then being able to change the pitch is just like it's amazing it's like it, it it's abstracted my my sort of like you know classic pedal chain in a way that feels really cool so it's nice to get that space <laughs> that's nice to know yeah i love i love that thing i, I won't shut up about it <laughs> <laughs> um so I, I i didn't really know what to expect from you it's been kind of fun like this for me all day because you know, we've kind of been surprised, but I wasn't expecting this very slow, melodic, beautiful thing with just like these great sounds. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting that. Um, is that like stuff you, you like to play? That's kind of yeah. your thing? Um, I've been making uh, ambient music under the name uh, Ember Reef for a really long okay. time. Um, and uh, this is definitely very much in that vein. But uh, you know, like, I kind of thought I was going to spend the whole pandemic just, like, making the, like, iconic double LP of ambient music that I was always, you know, going to make. But, like, the inspiration well ran dry. And, uh, you know, like, in, in, in uh, you know, it's just, like, it was an insurmountable project that was just, like, this way to sort of beat myself up for having too much free time, you know? And so I kind of shelved it for a long time. But, uh, you know, coming coming back, I've, I've started coming back into it in the last few months. And then being here is, like, very energizing. And I was like, yeah, I'll just throw a little improv. You have never struck me as someone who has a lot of free time. That's part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, this was this was a very a very good time. Also, this room just like nicely proportioned. That's yeah, kind of cool. Like yeah, maybe we'll nice. actually do something like this with it. It was kind of fun to see. Like oh, because I we've talked about stuff like this, but never have actually tried anything. So it's cool to see, you know, something actually get filmed in here. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's comfortable. Yeah. Well, also, me and Charlie were like, we don't want to have a huge audience. <laughs> I was, I was like, you know, especially like, I mean, Tyler's performance. God, what a, what a talented uh, performer. You know, it just was like, I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect from anybody. It's cool that there are so many 
good musicians like in this sphere here uh and a lot of styles yeah a huge range of styles um it's just like it's really impressive give me like a whole new view of the even just like the company so cool. <laughs> right <laughs> yeah i was telling i mean this is so good for morale mm -hmm. you know yeah I mean, thanks guys team building exercise <laughs> like going one by one like interviewing people asking or getting this getting them to share their uh what you know how they use pedals which i you know like i said i had no idea you were going to do that now i know a little bit more about you well i appreciate you Not coming that you're along. one of my employees <laughs> <laughs> well i appreciate you coming along for the ride it's uh it's a good time really it's really nice I wish I could talk about the thing we're working on, but yeah, we can't talk about that. Oh, well. It's uh, it's redacted. Who knows when the hell that'll come you can out. just you can just like bleep some random words over my mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this isn't a, a secret then. It's just like an open secret. Yeah, it's like uh, you know, like I've, I've made some noise about it. I mean, I started working on this thing like 2018 and have uh, have mothballed it like two different times. Okay. So sometimes you got a mothball. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, I also was like, oh, I'm going to a summit of really good programmers. Like somebody might be able to tell me to make how to make this thing suck less, which would be cool. <laughs> yeah. But it's gonna get it's gonna get an overhaul for sure, and a MIDI jack probably. Cool. If I can help it. Yeah. Is that a wrap, guys? It might be a wrap. <laughs> Oh, you're <laughs> oozing talent over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I guess I am. I am showing my. We can, we can do this just in in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> well, the conversation is not going to get cut off. Yeah. Okay. It's good. So now we'll go. <laughs> hey, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's why, that's why we didn't say it first. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Coffee and Riffs part, it's the last one of the Chase Bliss series. It's Cooper and Riffs now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And um, we're here with John. Yep. From Shrektronic Audio Experiments. <laughs> <laughs> that was really bad. Super good brand. Okay. <laughs> About, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised you haven't gotten sued yet. But, you know, you know, a name that cool, just or let like, it slide. Electronic audio experiments. Yeah. Uh, Whoa. Wow. Dang. Oh. The onion well, now it's happening. Uh, the I, onion. Yeah. I wasn't gonna rebrand, but. 